Ah, oh, finally. You have woken up from the serum. Interesting surprise. Usually my victims don't wake up for at least another hour. I guess my serum needs a bit of a strength boost. But I will worry about that later. Oh, don't struggle. You're not going to be able to get away from those chains on that operation table. Who am I, you ask? Well, I'm your doctor for tonight. Isn't that quite obvious? After all, you are the one that said you were dying from the inside and wanted to get away from all this pain and suffering. I'm just merely here to help you with that. Call me Dr. Smiley at your service. You see, I help the sick get them to feel better. You see, with this little serum I have here, it allows me to uh, put my patients into this unconscious state. Just one little dose into the neck, and they are out like a light. Usually takes around about a minute to activate, but I digress. Oh, you're the one who said it. they are dying from the inside. It's quite obvious what I'm here to do. I'm here to help you relieve pain. Anastasia? <laughs> do you really think I need Anastasia for this operation? Tell me, who's the doctor here? That's what I thought. Now, if you would excuse me, I need to get my tools prepped. Would said scalpel check. I have my magnifying glass to get a little bit closer and see what I can get out of this one. Tweezers. Everything seems to be here. Perfect. Now, let me take a look at you. Hmm. Yes. You do seem rather sick. Mm hmm. Tell me, what symptoms have you been accused of? Runny nose? Whooping cough? Maybe a lung infection? Or perhaps maybe even. Actually, no. It would make sense if you had a lung infection. You did say you were having quite a hard time breathing, now didn't you? Don't worry. I am here to help. Let me just put this little gag in your mouth so I don't hear your screamings during this operation. <laughs> Yes, a gag. You see, I am somewhat of a special doctor. I'm not really one of those over-the-top pharmaceutical doctors who give you a medication to feel better. No, 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 no. You're basically halfway through of kicking the bucket. You're close to death. So... I'm here just to speed up the process, but also get a sample for myself, because I can't help others the way I do without getting a sample 
of some sort. To experiment with, to make my serum a little bit more potent. Something more of a instant relief of death. It's quite simple, really. So, if you excuse me, my operation is about to commence. I need this, this scalpel here. And then I shall just stick it right into here. <laughs> yes, just like that. <sighs> oh, it looks like I hit an artery. Nothing to worry about. Let's see. Another incision here would do the trick. <laughs> Just the right across the chest here. <sighs> All right. Oh, it seems like our patient here has passed out from blood lost. Good. I didn't want to hear their screams anyway. And we get our tweezers here. <laughs> Just peel back this little slabs of skin here. Open the chest and... Wow. That is an excellent pair of lungs you got there. And here I thought you were dying. It appears our subject here has lied about their symptoms. Their lungs seem pretty... Adequate. But no matter, where is my hammer? Ah, yes, here it is. I need a way to get to rid of these ribs, so let me just get right into it. And take away the bone fragments with my tweezer here. Yes, yes, this is perfect. Put those right where I need to. And then I can get my scalpel again. My trusty, trusty, trusty scalpel. And we just cut this little order here. Yes. Perfect. Cut off this vein vessel here. Perfect. And then we can extract this lung here. Put it inside of this little jar I have here. Move this little plastic bag I have. And we can put this lung inside of here. My perfect little specimen for this lung. Inside of my glass jar here. Filled with a little bit of that serum I have. And we just dunk that lung right in there. Beautiful. We carefully place that back where the jar was. And we let that marinate, you for say, about a a week or so and see the changes this lung will go through. It might as well be a pickling stage if you want to put it more in simpler terms. But nonetheless, I think my operation here is a complete success. The patient is subdued with their pain. So much they have went into a slumber. Oh... Look at them. So peaceful. And yet so gorish. Well, enough diddly daddling. I need to put this body in a body bag. And keep it in a cold place. Say so, my cooler. And then, afterwards... 
we can get more victims inside of my doctor's office into my surgery room. We take more samples to make my serum even more powerful. <laughs> All right. Who is up next?